Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 3rd of January 2023. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Feminines who need to hear these messages. The Moon, the Sun in reverse, and the Magic Whistle in reverse. So this is you, Divine Feminine, the Moon, and uh, the Sun, your masculine, is not doing very well. He's in reverse. He's not being fair. He's not being just, so he's getting his karma. So your masculine could have been a, I almost said could have been a reader, but that's not what I meant to say, but maybe he was a reader. Um, your masculine was abusing his authority. So like this, this is somebody who is in a position of power and authority. This could be somebody in the military, somebody with a high ranking in the military. This could be a king. This could be a president. The crows just started making noise as I said that. But he's in reverse. So this person could be going for karma. The crows are getting worse outside. Uh, because of something he was doing or something he was saying. I'm looking at this magic whistle. This represents the voice, the fro chakra. This person could be an air sign or they could have air and fire in their chart. So this is somebody with a very masculine energy. Somebody who had a lot of power, a lot of masculine power, and abused it. So somebody's divine masculine is going through judgment here. He could be a Leo, you could be a Pisces, not necessarily though. So I've got Libra, Leo for him, and Pisces for you. Could be Cancer too. 29, you could be born on the 29th, he could be born on the 27th, for example. The month of November could be significant. I don't know why the crows are making all that noise because they were making no noise whatsoever up until now. <sighs> this person could be using birds, crows specifically, possibly for getting messages from you or about you. He could be remote viewing you through birds. He, be, he's, uh, he could be trying to communicate with you through birds. There's other birds making noise. I've never heard something like this. It's like the crows and every other bird is starting to make a lot of noise all of a sudden, right now. There was no none of this up until now. Or the last few days for that matter. 27 came out twice. The number 27 could be very significant or multiples of 9 and 3. Could be significant. The Empress High Priestess energy here. Somebody's definitely born on the 27th. Also February and July could be significant. July um, could be cancer season. Somebody could be a cancer or has strong cancer in their chart. Now there's some kind of motorcycle outside or some kind of engine revving. So there's going to be a lot of commotion possibly around your masculine. Your masculine could be publicly shamed by a group of people. This could happen online. This could even be on the news. Now it depends on how much popularity your masculine has. You could be somebody who is not in the limelight, right? You could be somebody who is more private. This man could be in the limelight in some kind of way. He could be getting a lot of attention, but it could be negative attention. Ooh, I put this upside down. That's interesting. Look, Leah, number one. This could be you too. You're number one. And then we've got the lunatic here barking at you. This lunatic here could be your masculine being mad at you. The moon and the lunatic. Look at that. He's not the sun, he's the lunatic now. Also, this man could be under, under the control of a woman. I've been getting this message very strongly lately about women uh, controlling men in, in secret. <laughs> so this moon might not necessarily be you, Divine Feminine. This could also be a karmic partner or his mother. The moon can represent the mother, the sun. Could be a literal sun. Not as in the sun that shines, but um, yeah, a child. Days is the healer, 16. 
So whatever happens to this masculine, there could be a tower moment. 16 is the tower. There's going to be a tower moment for this masculine, but it's for his healing. So whatever's happening, it's because he's being forced to heal something, to change a certain pattern of behavior. So what's this tower moment all about? What's going to happen to this masculine? What's this tower moment all about? Something could have happened on the 27th of November, actually. Oh, he had a spiritual awakening. This masculine st spiritual awakening started on the 27th of November. Because I had a channeled message on the 24th of November about somebody suddenly going through a spiritual awakening some, starting the 24th. A few days later, I was getting the message that there's another masculine who started having an awakening on the 27th of November. So this could be that masculine or that category of masculines who started having their awakening on the 27th of November. It could be a fire sign or an air sign. So that's what's happening here. This is a message about that masculine or that collective. So something happened. They already had a tower moment in the past in November. The 27th of November specifically. So if you know, if you can remember or recall something that happened on the 27th of November, that's when um, when this man started changing. The sea lion, 33. Yeah, remember how I was saying that I dropped the sea lion on the fire, right? So somebody started going for a spiritual awakening. Trial by fire. This guy looks like he's on fire. The sea lion dropped on the fire. So it could actually be a Leo, specifically. And he might have Pisces and Libra in his chart. Or he could be on the cusp. He could also be on the cusp of Cancer. Cancer Leo cusp. The mother of the woods is here. This could be you. You could be um, a spiritualist. Or this could be his mother, something about his mother, his mother and his father. He could be having some kind of epiphany about about both his mother and his father and maybe how his parents' relationship has influenced his relationships. This could have to do with the mother of his child also if he has any children. This could be you or this could be another person. He might have children with two different women. Or he's influenced by mother figures. He's influenced by women. There's some kind of karmic cycle here. So look, we've got an older man and an older woman. These could be his parents specifically. His parents were making him work very hard to become somebody very powerful. But he may have realized that he wasn't following his own path. He was following the path that was imposed to him by others. So that's the tower moment that happened here. So what's he going to do next? Let's see. What's this masculine planning to do next here? I almost said next year. Well, that would be 2024. So maybe he has a plan already for 2024. So he wants to work towards something this year that may bear fruit in the next year. He could be starting a project of some sort possibly, or he's starting his healing journey and he's hoping that a year will be enough for him to heal and uh, to change his life. Let's see. This could be somebody who's good at planning. Stone fist. Yeah, they're good at planning. They're a planner. They could have strong earth in their chart too. Number 10. This person could also be... Um, Planning on becoming very rich, very abundant. Look, oh my god, look at this. They look like counterparts to me. It's like the king and queen of pentacles. He's playing with birds, she's playing with um, butterflies. And they have the same color. So maybe he wants to do something similar to what you're doing. Maybe he... 
so if this person has a very prominent position he could be in the military maybe his man his man maybe his father was a military man maybe it was in an in intellectual this man could have been an intellectual or somebody in the military somebody very decorated somebody who had a lot of accolades the son wanted to uh, follow in the footsteps of the father and he was also somebody who was an authority figure somebody who was very well respected looked up to but it could be that now he wants to do something more similar to what uh, divine feminine is doing could be something that's more spiritual but could uh, ironically bring him more abundance than whatever he was doing before because whenever we're following our true life path that's what really brings abundance this man could have maybe a north node in capricorn or taurus this man could be meant to be uh, very abundant but only if he does what he's meant to be doing not what other people tell him to do right so he could have worked very hard to do whatever his parents told him is best for him or he they may have not said it out right directly you have to do this in order to have success but they could have implied it although these people look like they're very prescriptive here do this do that <laughs> so he could have been kind of the workhorse of these parents and uh, he still didn't get the level of success he needed or he reached it and then he lost it he could have lost the respect he had gained the power he had gained and now he's actually going to try to do what he was really meant to be doing and it could be together with divine feminine that they might have to do something together possibly or he's trying to do something like she's doing because she is looking away from the whole spread here so that's what i'm getting that this is divine feminine this is divine masculine and they have a similar life path or life purpose but she's doing it all on her own and he might try to do it on her, his own too, to try to catch up to her, right? He's uh, one square behind. <laughs> okay, so there you go. And he hopes that one year is going to be enough or maybe even 10 months. Number 10 is significant. By October, possibly, he wants to do something by October. I think I was getting a message last year that something's supposed to happen by October the next year. Maybe it has to do with this with this man's plan stone fist again look that's interesting i didn't even notice i i got stone fist out and then there was another stone fist here so then the word stone and fist could actually be significant somehow this person could work with their hands a lot they could have very strong hands they could be very muscular and uh, the grip of their hands could be very good they could have good motricity so they this is somebody who's very good with their hands they could have the ability to be a, a reiki healer or a healer in general whatever kind of healer that is a lot of earth so he could actually be an earth sign i was getting fire and air here but he could be an earth sign or he has a lot of earth in his chart 18 and 10 the 18th of october 18th of october is in um, libra season so either he's a Libra or his father could be a Libra possibly. I did get Libra here. This is also Libra energy in reverse though. It's um, low vibrational Libra energy. He could even be an Aries because the opposite of Libra is Aries. So Libra, Leo, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus. Also Pisces because 18 is the moon which is Pisces. Or he could be born on the 18th, the 11th, the 27th, the 10th, right? So he's working in secret. That's what I'm getting, that he's working on something in secret. And it could be a spiritual project. It could have to do with spirituality, but this is what's really going to bring in abundance for him. So he could have a secret tarot channel or something. <laughs> my, my, my little fingers itching i don't know if that's okay with the fingers something about his fingers yeah there's something about his fingers that's significant he might have um very strong hands like i said but he's also good at um 
maybe shuffling he has a special way of shuffling the cards possibly if this is a tarot reader because i almost said he was a tarot reader okay so is this guy a tarot reader in secret is this guy doing tarot in secret <laughs> But yeah, of course, lots of people can do tarot in secret, but I want to know if he has a channel. Does this man have a channel doing tarot readings, but he doesn't show his face possibly, right? He's hiding his identity. Does this guy have a secret tarot channel? Let's see. The Naughty Bridge, 32. He could have multiple channels or he has fake accounts. Oh, he has fake accounts. He might be watching readers and maybe even commenting from fake accounts here. He's doing something naughty though. He could be waging spiritual warfare here. That's why he's getting in trouble. Could be an Aries. Okay, so he's doing something naughty. Um, is this guy... Um, I just feel poking in my um, left cheek and I haven't felt this in a long time. This could be somebody who does voodoo, actually. Or root work. Something about poking. Uh-oh. Uh, this guy's doing something dark. He could be doing spell work. He could be doing it for money. Is this guy doing some kind of dark magic? Let's see. Is this guy doing dark magic? So we've got the Temple of Earth in Pamola. This is definitely a shaman. He's doing something underground. Yeah, it could be kind of dark. Depends on what he's doing specifically. But yeah, he's practicing uh, magic here. But he's not showing, either he's not showing his face or he's not doing it on a social media platform, but he's doing it somehow. I don't know, he could be um, charging money for this. Or he's doing it to manifest certain things. What exactly is this guy doing? Oh my god. So he's doing something unfair, unjust. He's abusing his power. And he has spiritual powers. This is Empress High Priestess energy. So he has psychic abilities, very strong psychic abilities, but he's abusing them. And he's causing conflict for other people. Is this somebody with a social media platform? Let's get a card that really shows that. Is this a social media platform where he does this? Does he have any kind of platform or a website or something of the sort where he advertises any kind of um, work? Does he advertise his work in any way? Does this man... The devil. <laughs> Cosmin, yeah, he does have a platform. Could be on Facebook, but any social media platform. This one, this card in particular make me makes me think of Facebook. So he does advertise, yes. He might even pay for ads somewhere on some platform or multiple platforms. Right, so there we go. The Empress B. Yeah, he's making a lot of money with this. He could have, but like I said, I think he's doing black magic. He's doing something dark. He's not uh, doing high vibrational work. Am I right? This guy, he could be working with rich people, with very rich people. The Temple of Fire. Yep. He could be a part of some kind of uh, group, some kind of society. Sarah, 15. The Ace of Wands or the Mace here, 34. Yeah, he is working. He's working with rich people. The star, look, the Prince of Fire, 33 and 6. The star, 42. The Empress B, 26 and 2. Yeah, he's working for rich people. He could be doing spell work for rich people. Prince Charming, 
Inkanyamba 39, 44 Zaratan, 40 Amphithyr. So he's a part of some kind of coven, secret society. He works with very rich people. He probably knows because he's a part of the secret society. So I think he advertises in this way through his connections. His connections are advertising for him. Yep, I think that's what he's doing. He knows a lot of people in high places. A Valerian, 13, death. He could be doing death spells. Eileen, ripped from the sun, number 8. 24, king of swords. 14, the beast with seven heads. Mm -hmm. 18, ho-oh. Right, so he knows lots of people, groups of people, powerful groups. And they talk to each other. That's how the word spreads about this man. So he has very high-end clientele. And that's how he advertises. I don't think he has ads or, I don't know, he doesn't post stuff on YouTube. I think he gets referred or something. Does this guy get referrals? Yes, he does. The Righteous Colquhan is a yes for me. 22 Quetzalcoatl. Six Pegasus. Right. Okay, so he's a free agent here. I think he chooses whoever he works for. Smash tree. The lake of fairies. Yeah, he's part of a coven. And these people uh, are powerful, very powerful people, and they refer him to other powerful people to do work for them. So he does root work, death spells, and all this kind of crap for celebrities, right? That's what he's doing. And he might get caught for this. Is he gonna get caught for this? Is he gonna get caught for doing this? The siren, number 10. The sirens are ringing, right? When the police comes, there are sirens. <laughs> He's being watched through a crystal ball or through a camera, right? Cameras are also round like this, most cameras. So he's being watched, somebody's watching him. Of course, this could be me uh, reading these cards, but I'm getting somebody's watching him on a map somewhere. They know where he is, they're tracking his movements. But this could be a, a high priestess, an empress high priestess who is on to him. Is the police actually watching this guy? The devil. The devil's watching him. Sharnabon the wizard. The magic bag and the magic wolf. Again with the, the blue... Um, the blue lights. The blue lights makes me think of police cars. <laughs> I think he's being watched by somebody. Somebody's watching his bag. <laughs> Who's watching this guy? Who exactly is watching this guy? Somebody who wants revenge. Oh, somebody who wants him dead or gone. 28th of February. So somebody wants revenge over this man. That's the one who it's kind of like a vigilante kind of energy. It's a group of people, actually. 45, the Lake of Fairies. So it's a group of people. These could be people he worked with in the past. He could have betrayed certain people that he worked with. These could be women he's dated, women whose hearts he broke, possibly. Yeah, I'm getting women mainly. Women want revenge over this man. Sharnabon, the wizard in reverse. So he's trying to defend himself, right? Against these women or these people. But it's not going to work. His defenses are going to be put down. So he could have been protected up until now. He's no longer protected. Because this Sharnabon, the wizard, kept coming out. But now it came out in reverse. So he's no longer protected. Oh, he might not be protected by his group. His Oh, this powerful group that he was working with. Could be turning against him so if he was a part of a secret society a coven etc the coven's turning against him so they might throw him under the bus 
even though they probably do things together or did things together, very dodgy things together, they might throw him under the bus and say he's the bad guy, but they're not. Because he could have compromised the group in some kind of way. The mere fact that I'm talking about this, that I'm seeing this, might compromise him. And these people could be watching too, and they could be kicking him out just so that they don't get in trouble. It's possible. 13, Sirius from the sky. Who exactly wants revenge? Is there one particular person who wants revenge over this guy? Is there one particular person who wants revenge the most here, like a main gang stalker? This one came out twice, 29. It could be this, um, the moon. When, when did we have the moon? Yeah, the moon is 29 too. It could be a female, a Pisces female. This one, or a Taurus or a Libra. So there's a female that he was sleeping with, possibly who wants revenge the most. The female could be born on the 29th. Zayana the fairy. This female could be blonde or she could have white hair. So it's either an older female or she's a female that he was sleeping with who might change her hair color. The soul fairy godmother, 21. So this is somebody he ended a relationship with. And I think she wants revenge now because she can't be with him anymore. She could be spiteful. This woman could be spiteful. Why is this woman mad at him? Serious from the sky. Possibly because he deaded a relationship. Yeah, because this is like death and an ending. He ended the relationship with her. He left her. Look, they, they could have been married. Or they were working together. They could have worn a uniform. So this man and the woman... Once revenge could have worn uniforms for work, whatever work they were doing. I'm getting scrubs for some reason, even though these people look very glamorous, I'm thinking of scrubs, medical scrubs, or they could have been in the military together, or they had some kind of, oh, pilot, pilot stewardess, something like that. Or they could have been um, celebrities, they could have been on stage, they could have been in the opera, for example, or in the movies. Yeah, they worked together. Whoever this woman is who was sleeping with him was also working with him. So at some point they could have had a very strong work relationship and then they had a sexual relationship and then he left her. He turned his back on her. So she's the one who wants revenge the most right now. He could have fired her. If he was the boss, for example, he could have fired her. Although these two kind of look like they're equals. Or they they need each other in some kind of way. So this could be like the doctor and the, the nurse or something like that. Or the pilot and the flight attendant, etc. Or, I don't know, the tenor and the soprano, etc. Inuit, number four. Somebody can't take rejection very well. This female can't take rejection because she's an empress, right? So she was very offended by the fact that this guy turned his back on her. And that's why she wants revenge so bad. Number one, Leah 